Hey, what's up guys? What is up Aquamuse? Thank you guys so much for joining me today. And as you can tell by the title of this video, um, yeah, I did find some fish eggs in my pond and I have them right here in this bin right here. Um, a lot of them have already hatched. I got some clips of them hatching last night and I'm gonna show you those in a second and I just filmed it on my phone so the quality is kind of like whatever. So originally I thought they were goldfish eggs and I'm still not 100% what they sure what they are but I'm 99% sure now that they are rosy red minnow fry. And the reason that I thought that they were goldfish fry before that or eggs before that is because I didn't know rosy red minnows um, laid eggs. I thought they were live bears but, uh, but apparently, you know, I, I did a quick Google search and apparently, yeah, they, they do lay eggs. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this first clip that I filmed last night. And I'm going to explain to you guys what you're seeing because it is really hard to tell what you're looking at because they're so tiny. They're the tiniest thing, way smaller than uh, guppy fry, way smaller than guppy fry. They're so tiny, it's really hard to tell what you're looking at. So if you see over here, there's these little clusters of, it's hard to tell, but they're actually a slight yellowish tint. There's these little clusters of eggs and inside those eggs, you can see these little black specks. And those black specks inside the eggs are the eyes of the fish. Inside every egg, you can tell that there's two specks. And last night, I wanna say there's probably about one egg hatching every minute, if not more. Pretty much what you'd see is you'd see the egg start to wriggle and then the fry would eventually break free of the egg and start squirming around. I checked back a couple hours later and there was a bunch that have hatched. All right guys, it's actually a couple hours later and I could actually see this fish swimming around. The little, it's like there's one right there, the little goldfish. The little baby goldfish just swimming around. That is insane. There were so many hatched. And in the clips that I was filming last night, I was calling them goldfish because I thought they were goldfish, but now I'm pretty sure they are rosy red minnows. And if you look down here, guys, I have the tub right here. I'll show you what's going on today. So if you look over here on the left side of the bin, that's where most of the egg clusters are. If you see that yellow stuff, that is the um, egg clusters. And there still are some, quite a lot, that have little black specks inside them. This is why I filmed this on my phone last night. It was like way easier to record on my phone. But yeah, you can still see some with black specks inside them. So I've been checking this morning and I haven't seen any more hatching today. I'm actually not even 100% sure if all these eggs are fertilized because as you can tell, some of them don't have the black specks yet. Or they could just be developing still, I'm not really sure. But um, if we look down here, guys, you can see the, the fry all just kind of hanging out at the bottom of the tub. And I'm actually going to switch over to my iPhone right now because I'm able to see them better on my iPhone. So I'm going to do that real quick. So the easiest way to spot them, guys, is if you look for the two black specks next to each other, really close together. Those are the eyes because the bodies of the fish are more or less transparent. So, I mean, there are, as you can see, there are quite a few hanging down by the bottom. Yeah, there's really a lot, like, they're really hard, they're hard to spot, but take my word for it, there's a bunch. See that one swimming right there? Awesome. That's a mosquito larva down there in the corner, that black line. The majority of these hatched last night. I'm sure some of them probably hatched throughout the night, the early morning today. But right now I'm going to go uh, up and show you guys the pond and I'll show you guys where I found them and how I extracted the eggs. Let's go this way for a change. 
So take a look at what's going on right here guys look at the pump down there the pond pump and just watch for a second these guys are all wanting food hold on let me get the gopro so pretty much i noticed that there were rosy red minnows swimming underneath the pond pump and i'll show you exactly where but they're swimming underneath the pond pump and i was like what are they doing under there and then yesterday what I was doing is I was um, cleaning algae out of the pond pump so I had to take it out and everything and I turned it upside down and that's when I noticed that there were clusters of eggs stuck to the bottom of the pond pump. And I have discovered eggs under there before but I wasn't really sure what to do so I just left them and I don't think they ever hatched. So this time I decided to get this little tool over here. It's like a little uh, spatula type, type thing. And I was able to scrape them off the bottom of the pump using this. And then I put them in that plastic tub that you saw. So when I noticed the rosy red minnows swimming under there, and then I discovered that there was eggs underneath the pump, I thought, oh no, you know, the rosy red minnows are probably either eating the eggs or they're eating the fry that are hatching. So that's the main reason I wanted to take them out. At this point, I was still pretty certain that the eggs were goldfish eggs. But then, of course, like I said earlier, I checked online and I realized that rosy red minnows also lay eggs and then I realized oh they're probably rosy red minnow eggs and that's probably why the rosy red minnows were going under there they were probably laying eggs and check this out guys I started cleaning a lot of the algae out of here I have a ton of it in this bin that I'm th gonna throw away right now but there's still a ton more that I need to get rid of so there's a gardener's working over there right now so I'm coming over here to talk but um hopefully in that clip oh I forgot my GoPro but in that clip, um, you probably saw that rosy red minnow diving underneath the pump. I was trying to catch that on camera. I think I got it, but that's exactly what I saw yesterday. And I, I was thinking to myself, oh, the minnows are probably eating the, the goldfish eggs because I thought they were goldfish eggs. So that's why I decided it would be best if I scraped the eggs off and took them into my room. And then also it would be wake, it would be super cool, I think, to document the growth of these fish. My rosy red minnows in my pond have actually bred in the past. As some of you might know, I started out with five rosy red minnows and now I have probably somewhere around 20 in my pond. But I think this would be super cool to have them grow like before our eyes, we could like track them every day. And I don't think it'll be too hard because when my rosy red minnows bred in the past, I didn't even know they were in my pond, that there were fry in my pond until they were probably about like this big. So I did not do anything special to take care of them. Um, you know, the water that's in this little plastic container, that is water from the pond. So there's probably like little microorganisms living in there that they can eat after they're a couple days old. From what I understand, um, you're pretty much supposed to leave them alone for the first couple days and then they'll develop their mouths and then they can start eating. And then once I notice that they have grown a little bit, I still have my 10 gallon tank right down here. So I'll go ahead and get that ready for them soon. And yeah, guys, we'll see what happens. Eventually, once they're big enough, I will put them back in the pond with all the other fish and we'll have some more aquamigos up in the pool pond. So guys, if you wanna keep up with the progress of these rosy red minnow fry, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I will have more videos coming up doing updates on these fish. I know this is like kind of like a shorter video, but I was like really excited and I just really wanted to show you those uh, tiny, tiny rosy red minnow fry. I've never seen them before that small. As I said before, the in my pond when I had rosy red minnow fry in the past, I. I didn't see them until they were probably about this big, like maybe a centimeter long or so. And um, so it's really awesome that I'm getting to see them literally as they have hatched. Like I can't believe that I got them on camera actually hatching. So let's get one more quick look. Yeah, they're all just more or less hanging out at the bottom. But yeah guys, let me just show you my guppy tank real quick before, before I close out this video. Yeah guys, it looks like the guppies are doing good.
check the goldfish over here my fantail goldfish now if you look at this guys this area where the gravel is kind of like all separated like that i'm pretty sure that's from him like flashing so i don't know i gotta i'll probably have to take a look at some medication soon or something but one good sign guys is that I haven't really been seeing any floating poop and the poop is now sinking to the bottom, which is a really good sign because floating poop can mean that the fish is ill. So definitely now that his poop is flo is sinking, I should say, that is definitely a good sign. I just wanna get a couple more quick shots of the pool pond because the fish are all out and about and I think the lighting is really good. I just wanna get some a couple shots real quick. Alright guys, so that was pretty cool. They were all about being on camera today. So anyways guys, if you guys like this video, make sure you go down there and give this video a like. That would help me out so much. And also if you want to see more videos by me in the future, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. And also hit that bell notifications button. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace. Thank you.